What's going on, everybody? It's your boy C4 today, bringing episode three of the Christian McCaffrey Connected Franchise Mode. And we are in week two of the regular season. We're going up against the 0 and 1 Atlanta Falcons, looking to get a win as they stumbled week one out of the gate. We, as you noticed, and you would have catched last week, we beat the New Orleans Saints pretty badly to get our first win. Our goals this week is to rush for 45 yards and based off of our 100 and Lord knows what was it 140 some yard performance 140 113 sorry two touchdown performance last week why couldn't we repeat that 45 yards that is chump change so we are opening up here second and ten early in the first feeding Christian McCaffrey and then rookie fucking growing pains we get absolutely jacked up by Sean Weatherspoon we will take another re quick little look at that. Oh my god, my fucking god! I'm lucky I didn't get hurt. I don't injuries are turned on, but maybe I, maybe I'm gonna be good. Maybe my guy is, he did his yoga. He's not gonna get injury prone because this was a hit that would fucking oh my god, that is concussion city right there. So you know we actually came out of the the, the next drive we weren't even on. Now we're in the fucking five minutes into the second quarter. We're already down seven to three. We're trying to do our best to regain our momentum. Six rushes, 32 yards. That was a nice, what was that, probably 15-yard gain. But, uh, yeah, Coach took us out. Uh, Jack Del Rio decided after that big hit to maybe let Latavius Murray uh, come in for at least another drive so we can get our bearings, recoup, and get ready to dominate because we got to go 2-0, all right? We're the, we're the fucking Oakland Raiders. You know, with L.A. Rams back in town, we're the, you know, the kind of red-headed stepchild of California. We need to show people that with Christian McCaffrey, this is a Christian McCaffrey show, and that was not great. That was definitely not great. As I said, something I definitely need to work on is my receiving game. And then we get a fucking flag. I actually don't know how this happened. It, it must have been just the computer, the AI or something like that. I end up getting with Christian McCaffrey a fucking 15 yard unnecessary roughness call on there. I thought it was good. First of all, it was an interception, and then I still have the ball back. But, like, look at this. What that makes sense? That was a 15 yard. Like, how's it first and ten? I'm not exactly sure what happened here. I don't know if that was a bug. I I honestly don't know. But you're giving me another chance as we get jacked the fuck up again by 44. Who's that, Vic Beasley? They are laying the lumber. They saw what we did against New Orleans last week, and they said, we're not this fucking rookie running us. So I got lit up by Sean Witherspoon. Just got lit up there by Vic Beasley. We're going to need a fucking real good ice bath after this game because Christian McCaffrey is going to be black and blue and not the, you know, not the black and silver that we want him to be. He's going to be black and blue. But we're closing in on that weekly goal, and it's not even the end of the first half. So things are looking good on that front. But definitely not getting the same success that we had last week. So let's try to start letting them throw the ball a little bit. Derek Carr, 3 of 6 for 42 yards. Uh, not lightening it up, really. This entire offense is struggling. Our offensive line is struggling to make blocks. And none of our wide receivers on the outside want to make plays. But because we are struggling with Christian McCaffrey, we're going to keep throwing the ball. And there you go. Big touchdown to Amari Cooper. What is... Oh, my God. Oh, 60 some yards. Big connection there from Derek Carr to Amari Cooper. That is one of the main reasons why I decided to bring Christian McCaffrey to the Oakland Raiders. Because they have two phenomenal young talents to work with you know great i don't even know i can't even consider them supporting cast we're three fucking main lead actors right here in oakland and it's nice because when i'm struggling I'll, I'll, I'll be the first one to admit i was struggling as we're down still down 14 to 10 before halftime uh, i was struggling around the ball so there's times that you need other plays to get ha just to happen and right there look again the offensive line is struggling we had to throw it away Derek Carr, four of eight 115 yards one touchdown he's moving the ball but you know, take out that big play to Amari Cooper, and what our offense has done absolutely nothing. But that is certainly a matchup that we want to keep trying to address here with Amari Cooper, and he's open again. Oh, let's go! Amari Cooper is down the field. I have no idea who that corner is, but he is beating him like a fucking drum right now. Uh, that was like that was like an identical play to what we just saw. Two back-to-back, -back, very quick touchdowns for the Oakland Raiders to regain the lead before halftime. Who is that? Twenty-three. 23 of the Atlanta Falcons. You're trash. Is that Robert Alford? I think if I was guessing. I have no idea, but Amari Cooper is absolutely beating him like a drum, giving us the 17 to 14 lead before halftime. Atlanta got the ball to open up the second half. They were able to get a field goal, but field goals ain't gonna cut it. Christian McCaffrey deciding he needs to flick it on. 12 rushes, 57 yards. That is not good enough, considering we had tr almost fucking triple that at one point last year or last week. Sorry. And uh, you know, there we go. Open up with a nice little 10-yard gain there, getting us to midfield. 
This is a tie game. Something, we need just something. Just one little thing will shift, shift the momentum back in the Oakland Raiders' favor. And I think we have exactly the kind of player that can do that in Christian McCaffrey. So as we go here, there's a nice little, oh, all right, did we get the first down? I don't think that was the first down, unfortunately. That was one thing I actually hated a lot in Madden 16. It sounds like every time it looked like it could have been a first down, could have not be a first down, it was always like third and inches. They would never give you the first down, never give you the benefit of the doubt, which is I always found that kind of annoying. But it is what it is. It doesn't matter, right? That that run right there, 15 rushes, 80 yards. We made sure there was going to be no fucking second and inches, third and inches. We're getting, we're moving the chains, cause we saw Derek Carr and Amari Cooper do their job. Now it's time for number five, the rookie out of Stanford, to do his goddamn job. And uh, now we're gonna keep, we're gonna throw it to the air, wide open, making the catch. See, those are the catches I can make all day long. I need to work on my screen passes. I need to work on, you know, anytime I just dip out of the backfield. But anything across the middle, anything wide open in space past the chains i'm pretty good with right now so definitely an area of my game i want to continue to improve especially when we get a guy like christian mccaffrey who can catch the ball and we need to find as many ways as possible to get the ball into his hands but um definitely a work in progress but we're gonna throw it again why not we're hot as he hits i don't know who that was maybe the tight end clive walford Derek Carr having himself a day though 222 yards and two touchdowns a lot of that coming through those two big bombs to amari cooper and I mean the Oakland Raider fan base. This is the first. This is the first home game in the Christian McCaffrey era. There's the tweet. The future is now. Tagging Derek Carr and Amari Cooper. That's a three-headed monster that is gonna rule the NFC AFC West for years to come. And they're hitting, hitting the touchdown. Andre Holmes again. As we now take a 24 to 7 lead. The Falcons went down, got a touchdown. So now it's time to have something explosive. And there we go. Christian McCaffrey doing what he did in two, what was it, two, three years, how many ever years he was at Stanford, being an all purpose machine, taking it to the house. There is a flag on the play. What are the odds this is going to be on us? Pretty fucking high. But that is exactly what we needed for a 24 24 game well into the fourth quarter we needed something explosive like that and michael rivera the backup tight end with the illegal block in the back because why not that would be just too good for me as christian mccaffrey in my connected franchise to have almost a walk-off uh, kick return for a touchdown so uh, now we're at the end of the fourth quarter still a 24 24 game uh, momentum has dipped a little bit after having that kick return called back we actually sat two plays in a row i guess the gas tank was a little empty but uh, we're back on the field now, as we are now in crunch time, trying to get the win. Uh, don't We don't want to settle for a field goal either. We want to make this a 31-24 game right now. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Run game has not really been there much today as we continue to throw the ball. There's Rivera, the tight end, making a somewhat of a men's, catching a nice little pass there that put us on the two-yard line, maybe kind of paying back Christian McCaffrey saying, hey, that now go get your touchdown, kid. Go get your fucking touchdown so we can have three touchdowns on the season, which is, you know, maybe as good as any player in the league right now. I don't think there's any running backs that are even close to the stats I've been putting up with Christian McCaffrey uh, as a rookie, nonetheless. But uh, we lost a one there. Nice little defense there from the Atlanta Falcons. That Dan Quinn defense is showing up to play, even though we have scored 24 points on them. Much, much tougher than what the New Orleans Saints did to us last week. There we go. Just straight up outrun the motherfuckers. Let's get a touchdown on the board. Win the. Just put the fucking teeth on my back, though. Like a Greg Jennings. A nice three yard touchdown there for Christian McCaffrey. Our first touchdown of the day uh, to really cap off what was average game by my standards for Christian McCaffrey. But it was enough to win the game 31 to 24. There are the stats. As always, guys, thank you for watching episode three of the Christian McCaffrey career mode in Madden 17. If this is your first time checking it out, please subscribe to the channel. It's going to be this, the most in-depth connected franchise mode you're going to find on YouTube. And uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.